when x tends to 0, x is not equal to 0. Clearly, it is not equal to plus or minus pi, plus minus 2 pi, and so on as well. In other words, x is not equal to n pi. And therefore, fx is equal to sin x. Therefore, g of fx is equal to g of sin x. Now, when x tends to 0, sin x is not equal to 0 because x is not equal to 0. Also, sin x is not equal to 2 because sin x is always less than or equal to 1. Therefore, g of sin x is equal to 1 plus sin x square or 1 plus sin square x. Therefore, the desired limit as x tends to 0 of g of fx is equal to the limit as x tends to 0 of 1 plus sin square x. Sin x tends to 0 is x tends to 0 and therefore the value of this limit is equal to 1.